Hello, I'm Dr. Clarice Floyd, your supernatural life coach. And today, Wisdom for Success is going to be part two. Last week that we did a wonderful story about a couple who was madly in love and decided to bypass getting married. And they came to visit my husband and I and the Spirit of the Lord in its marvelous way changed their mind about a whole lot of things. I'm believing that those that watch this today might be changing their mind about some things that they've decided to bypass the Word of God with. Dr. Clarice Fluid is an internationally recognized supernatural life coach. She is a time-proven prophetess with laser-like accuracy. It's never too early and it's never too late for you to achieve your dream. Reports of amazing miracles and healings occur in her meetings. For more than four decades, she has a distinguished worldwide reputation as a Christian mentor. There are those who desire the benefit of success, but they choose not to embrace change. Her experiences as a mentor, life coach, coach and enterprising businesswoman allow her to share her proven strategies for building the kingdom, inspiring individuals and generating sustainable growth. If you want to do new things, I encourage you to invest in yourself. She has shared the stage with some of the world's most influential pioneers, including Steve Forbes, Les Brown, Susie Orman, Patricia King, Joan Hunter, Cindy Jacobs, Shaquille O'Neal and many more. Welcome to Wisdom for Success with Dr. Clarice Fluid. If you have seen last week's wonderful explanation of what happened with Jonathan and River. Jonathan and River, it's a young couple. They're in their, uh, she's about 35, he's about 40. And they are definitely adults. They met each other and just absolutely went madly in love with each other. They're just absolutely perfect for each other. Both of them are Christian reared in a real fine, fine Christian home. As a matter of fact, as I shared last time, that their parents are, are missionaries, ministers, teachers of the Word of God, and have traveled with me all over the world. So I've known the family, and I've understood what their principles are. And I had given a prophetic word to Jonathan about 10 years before that God was going to use him and his voice. He, he really is very gifted and talented and handsome. And I said, the Lord's going to use you with a prophetic voice for your generation and that you're going to hold the standard. And he, he just listened to me because his desire was to be a movie star. He wanted to be a set designer. He wanted to be a, a, a writer, an author. He had all of these wonderful, wonderful desires to do and had been working in Hollywood. And that's where he met his beautiful, wonderful bride to be that he just bypassed marrying her and decided that they would just live together because they couldn't afford to get married. You know, he couldn't have a ring and he couldn't have a honeymoon, he couldn't buy a house. So they just moved in together. Now she had not asked for all of these things, but this is what he set up and said, this is the way it's going to be. Now, when they came to see us, when they came to visit with us, as I shared with you, it was a rainy, rainy, stormy, stormy day that you couldn't see outside. And I confronted him with the Word of God. I said, why are you doing this? What, what has made you choose to bypass your training and your understanding of the Word of God? Because he still professed to be a man of God. You know, many of us, we're just going to have covenant with God on our own terms. And we wonder why things are not working right. The enemy is a defeated foe. He has no power or authority except what we allow him to have in our life. The Lord says, when you've made an error, when you, or if you want to call it sin, or however you want to do, the word of the Lord says, if you'll be faithful to just simply come before the Lord, confess your sin, say, Lord, I did it, it was wrong, and I choose not to do it again. This is not the end of the world. And then you begin to back up and heal the things that you have done that are not in alignment with the Word of God. Now, that's easy to be able to understand. Well, I explained it to both of them, and he said, you're right, you're right, you're right. And he says, I know I've got to ask her to marry me. Well, when we were talking about the weather, oh my goodness, the weather was terrible, terrible. And he said a little prayer, and he says, Lord, if you stop the rain and let the sun come out, 
I will know that you are talking to me and telling me now why he needed a sign on top of everything else, but God knows what's in our heart. And suddenly it quit raining. Then the next thing you know, you know what it did? The sun came out like it was Easter Sunday. I am telling you, it was so beautiful. All the, the scenery around us looked like it had been freshly baptized and the clouds were just gorgeous and the trees and the animals. We, we have lots of wildlife in our, uh, on, the, on the water and it was all going. And he turned to his dear, sweet companion and he says, River, come with me. And she did not know what, what he wanted to do, but he took her down to the dock. Now, if you will remember, he told me the reason that he was not, had not asked her to marry him. They had both talked about someday, someday, someday. Let me ask you, are, are you notorious for putting things off? Do you say someday, Lord, I'm going to, I'm going to lose this weight. I'm going to get this closet cleaned out. I'm going to do this. I'm, it's little things. It's little foxes that spoil the vine and we keep making these decisions and then we change our mind and then it's like something just stacks up and we never begin to do the things that we say we're going to do. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Speak to that spirit of procrastination and say, you will not control my life. All of us have areas in our life that are certainly not into perfection, but the Lord says, I'm, I would have you to be perfect evenly as your heavenly father's perfect. But you have to understand what that word means, mature. There are things we do as children that we're not allowed to do as adults. When I was a child, I thought and acted like one, but when I became an adult, things that my mom and dad said, don't do this, don't do that, then suddenly I found that if those rules and regulations were not for a mature person. There are things that we must become responsible for ourselves, not looking for someone to instruct us about all the things. You have the spirit of the living God that leads, guides, inspires inside of you. And if you don't, there's never be a day that will be more powerful than today. The simplicity of just saying, oh my God, Lord, I need you in my life. Lord Jesus, I believe you're the son of God. Come into my heart, take me like I am. Let him do the changing that needs to be done. I recently got a word from the Lord. He says, I want you to do thus and so. And I said, I don't know how to do that. I, I, you can't entrust that with me. I've never done that. I don't know how to do that. That's not in my wheelhouse. And I would blah, blah, blah. And he said, that's what I'm looking for. Somebody that doesn't know anything so I can be in charge. I'm not interested in you being a, a hand of the Lord extended. I'm interested in you being a glove. Let me be the hand. Oh my goodness, that does change things around because that means we're going to have to do some trusting. Well, that's exactly where Jonathan was. He had to do some trusting. He had to change his mind. He knew what was right. He agreed with what is right, but the courage to do it, un just insecurity, fear, dread, doubt, all of these things that were just his desire to do the best was there, but he postponed. He said, no, later, later, later. If there's a later, later devil talking to you, I bind it in the authority of the name of Jesus and clear your mind and say, you know what? I know what I need to be doing and I'm going to choose to do it. I'm going to make a decision. We're back to this situation where I told him years ago, not to decide is a decision. Indecision is a decision. So don't be fearful of it. You've just come to the place and say, I want to do it Yahweh, not my way and things begin to change. Well, the sun is shining and he turns to river and he says, come with me. And he had made up his mind. He was going to go down on the deck and, and go, go out where it's so beautiful. And he was going to propose to her. Well, he went down on, he didn't know that we knew, we just knew. And Dr. Tandy ran and got her, uh, phone and got ready to take pictures. We knew it was going to be a Kairos moment. We knew something was going on that was just, I mean, it was moving through time and space. It was beautiful. The presence of God was there. It was just a wonderful thing. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, you know, that get engagement ring that that girl gave to you and said she didn't need it. And I said, yes. And he says, go get it and give it to uh, Jonathan. So he'll have a ring to give to his bride. 
And so I ran into my jewelry box. I got it out. I said, I wondered why I was there. Beautiful ring. And I, he's down on the dock with her, talking to her. He has not asked her yet. She said she didn't have a clue what it was other than just come look at how pretty everything is. It's just beautiful out there. And I called him. I said, Jonathan, come here. And he ran up. We're, we're on the deck, and he's on the dock, the lower level there. And he ran up, and I gave him the ring. And he said, are, are, are you giving this to me? And I said, no, I'm giving it to her. But I said, you had used this as an excuse that if you just had a ring, you would propose. And now God has met your need. There it is, right there in your hand. Well, he goes down and we're filming and we're, we're sitting up there just watching like you're watching a romantic movie. And he gets down on his knees and she's crying and he's crying. And he says, I love you with my whole law heart. And I ask you to forgive me for weakening your, your faith. And he says, I'll never do that again. I'll be, I'll be the prophet, the priest, the king of our household. I'll know how to love you as Jesus loved. I mean, he, all this training that had been in him just began to come out where she is beside herself. And then he says, will you marry me? She jumps up and she grabs him. They hug, they kiss, they cry. And then he says, look, this is for you. And he gave her the big diamond ring and she just, she couldn't believe it. Oh, they're giggling and laughing and said, really, is this on loan? Are we going to do this or going to do that? You know what? It was one of those happy moments. It was one of those things say, devil, you did your best, but you messed up again. You just absolutely, you're the spoiler of dreams, but God is the fulfiller of dreams. I am, I was so excited, the determination on both of their hearts that when they came up from the dock and they, we took pictures together and we hugged and we rejoiced. It was just one of those moments where you just say, Lord, you're so good. You're so good. Teach us how to believe and to wait on that wonderful word. This is train up a child the way he should go. And when he's older, he will not depart from it. In Psalm 37, 23 through 34, it says this, the steps of a good man, none is good but God. The steps of a good man are ordered, not requested, by the Lord. And he delights in his way. Though he fall, he will not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Oh, dear friends, there are things that you've been praying for, things you've been believing for, things you want healed and delivered and set right in your life. God is as powerful today as he's ever going to be. What I watched with my, with my eyes and participated with my faith with this couple is an amazing thing. It took a while, but God is faithful. I want you to understand that when they left here, they were different people. They were so excited. They called their father. They called their mother. They called and said, listen, you know, we realize that what we have been doing is not, it didn't honor you. It certainly didn't honor God, but we have repented. And so rather than saying, well, you did this, you did that. Oh, can we not rejoice? For the one that comes in, other than just the 90 and 9 that we've been able to keep up, there's a lot of rejoicing when one who's gone astray gets straightened out. And it was genuine. It was real. It was faith. It was wonderful, wonderful things. So, Father God, I just want to lift my hand and say, Lord, we just surrender to the covenant of God. And Lord, anyone listening to this and learning from it right now, that there will be strength imparted to them at this particular time in their heart and in their life, that it's not too late to just say, oh God, I did this and I should have done this. And, and sometimes we think it's just so far gone, we can't do anything about it. Let me tell you something, God is right there. Angels, ministering spirits sent forth from God to aid us who are the heirs of salvation are saying, come on, come on, put that back, do this, make amends, call, change your mind. And when you change your mind, you're gonna change your direction. You're going to embrace the way of God. 
I believe that as we speak about this and we're going to talk about the fact that, you know what, they went home and within 30 days they had this wonderful marriage. They got married in Malibu on the, uh, on the ocean, on the beach, and had all the family there. And his father performed the wedding, healing in the family, the brothers, the sisters, everybody that had just been, you know, to, not knowing how to respond to each other saying, I know that what you're doing is not in alignment with the Word of God. We don't want to make our family choose between us and, and God. We want to walk in the fullness of what God has for us. I'm going to be back with you in just a minute, and we are going to talk about getting ourselves in alignment for the assignment that God has for you on planet Earth. Be right back. In Jesus' name. Get ready. Dr. Clarice Fluid wants to encourage and awaken your heart to see the hand of God at the very core and framework of your life. She imparts key nuggets that will empower you to believe God for the impossible. Visit ClariceFluid.org to find all of the customized mentoring and coaching resources you'll ever need to be equipped and activated to reach all of your highest goals and dreams. You'll find all of her great books there, like experiencing the power of God's Word as you embrace the revelation of this book, divine designs will unfold that are uniquely and distinctly yours as you release the power of God's Word into every life situation and watch God work. At ClariceFluid.org, you'll discover personalized mentoring programs and various resources to launch you from where you are now to where you really want to be. Dare to believe. Join Dr. Clarice and learn how to achieve the impossible with God. Go to ClariceFluid.org right now. You know, everybody loves a love story. I've never met anybody that didn't say, oh, it, you know, when you see young lovers, everybody has a soft spot, you know, because young love is really, really exciting. And love coming in any form is real, real exciting. My husband, George, and I have been married 61 years at this time. And you know what? I love him more now than I did 61 years ago. We've been through the fire. We've been through the flood. But you know what? When we got born again, went through the blood, we became new creatures. Heavenly species is what the Word of God says, and learned to work together. Does that mean we didn't have any conflict? We don't have any disagreement? Are you kidding me? but you learn to go through those. You learn how to do this. And this is where I'm going to just share with you the wonderful report that Jonathan gave about his wedding. Watch this. He says, River and I decided to have the marriage ceremony before the end of September. We married exactly 30 days from the day that we were engaged. When I shared the video of our engagement on social media, Friends from so far away and past life chapters, they reached out to congratulate us and started pouring into our registry and gave us a honeymoon fund. It's just like God had totally forgiven us for all of the rebellion that we had been in and just began to bless us as soon as we choose to embrace the Word of God. The family in Southern California began to offer to help with the wedding logistics, and they gave all kind of extra uh, healing and helping hands. Many people rallied around us. They all came to bless and to honor us. We had not been honorable, but because when we, we changed, they didn't look at our past. They saw the future. They too saw our precious love for each other. We had a beautiful wedding on the beaches of Malibu. My precious father officiated at the wedding, and River's father walked her down the aisle. Our families and our friends, they surrounded us with arms stretched, pronouncing blessings and prosperity and joy and peace over us. Oh, believe me, it's not just a piece of paper. It's not. There were blessings that were released from heaven once we aligned ourselves I got to stop here. I can hardly read it. Once we aligned ourselves for our assignment, you got to get in alignment for the assignment that God has for you on planet Earth. It's just, they didn't know what they were missing. They didn't understand this joy unspeakable that was full of glory and the happiness that came upon them. She sa he says here, we cheered and we celebrated until the sun set at midnight. 
<laughs> I love that. They got married on the beach. I'm telling you what, it was just a wonderful thing. He says, so much love was poured out. So much kindness came to us. We, we just, we had the most exciting wedding ceremony and we had a honeymoon and we had gifts and we had our beautiful diamond wedding ring from Dr. Fluid. River, River and I are now three months in as husband and wife. Let me tell you, the difference between just being committed partners to an official marriage couple is beyond comparison. Any of you out there living in a situation where I love her, I don't need it, it's just a piece of paper, I don't need a marriage certificate, I don't need to make a vow, I want you to know, I tell all my guy friends when they ask, how does it feel being really married? And I say to them, I'm stronger, I'm a better man. It's an amazing thing to get in alignment with God. The only way through my life is with River. And the time has begun. It began when I chose to choose. I was not coerced by River, by Dr. Clarice, by anyone's parents or anyone else to propose in that moment. I knew, I knew that the choice to not choose her there and then was due to my unwillingness to act in faith. I was filled with fear and insecurity. I knew what the answer was, and I was not helping by being critical of how events and circumstances were unfolding. Vision always comes first. You act on vision, not on your comfort. Are you hearing what this young man's saying? All of a sudden, this prophetic voice begins to awaken inside of him. You need to understand when you get in alignment, things look differently. It's good to be plumb in the authority of the name of Jesus. River and I can say honestly right now that our love is stronger than it was before. When we were just living together, we were not married. We were not in covenant. We were in dis uh, disobedience to the love and the word of God. But I can tell you now, our love is stronger. It's precious. It's protected by God. We are respected. Think about that. We are honored by people who now see us truly as one. We wear our wedding wings, rings with such pride. We look forward to starting a family together. We never talk about having a family until we really got married. Our love for God is absolutely awesome. We're in His Word. God has evolved in our heart. We are so extremely grateful for what we are experiencing now as a married couple. For that, I thank my parents, John and Alicia, for their unconditional love and support when I was so far away from living and honoring them. I thank my precious father for offici officiating the ceremony and thank River's father for walking her down the aisle. I thank both doctors George and Clarice for their love, for their compassion, for their wisdom, for their faith in prayer and their prophetic degrees over River and I. We are all living it out, and it will continue to increase. I believe that God has called me to be a prophetic voice for my generation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Word of God has the power to perform itself, but you and I need to have the power of God in us that we can confront sin without being ugly. I never jumped up and said, you dirty, rotten dog, you are living in, in fornication, you're going to burn in hell. That, I never said that. I never said that. The scripture says, similar to that, but we need to kind of cool it down just a little bit and say, listen, it is the love of God that compels people to change. It's the kindness of God that causes people to give their life to God. It's with the kindness of God that I want to pray with you right now. I want to speak that anything in your life that's out of alignment with the power of God, anything that's going on in your life, things that you may be sincere about, but you may be sincerely wrong, that you can just say, oh my God, why is this not working? Why do I not have peace? You know, there are many, many times that, you know, in your life, in my life, that when we just stop and say, why is this not working? I'm sincere about it. And the Lord says, back up. You didn't ask me. You didn't, you didn't come before me before it started. You know, before I do any of these programs, I can write out 
the ideas that we have and we can work together and say, this is the direction we're going. But when we come into the studios and I know I'm going to be talking to you, and I know that it is important that I have the word of the Lord. I know that it's significant that we are not playing church here. We are desiring to touch your life and to see lives change. Now, in the name that is above everything that's got a name, hear this, things that have been crooked, God says, whoa, watch this, watch this. Do you ever watch one of these building programs where they say, we've got a problem here. The house is in good shape, but the foundation is cracking. You know, you think, oh my goodness, what do you do? Well, there are specialists. They come in and they can go under the house and they can build it up and they can take all of the cracks out of it and the foundation can be rebuilt. Not just anybody can do it. The Word of God can do it. The Word of God has the power to take your foundation and where it's been crooked, where you've made some decisions that hurt you, wounded you, disappointed you, that you can just come before the Lord and say, Lord, send those foundation builders to me, build me up. Now, those things that we have shared with you through these past two times together, I believe that they are so encouraging that it says, regardless of how far away that you've gotten or anybody that you know, believe good about them. Believe that God has the power to you and to your household. Has the promise of God been made? God is for you. He's not against you. In the days that are before us, these are incredible days. And I want to tell you something. This I know. Every new day starts at night. Every new day, God started off and he started first. There was the night. There was the darkness. And then there was the day. I am telling you, we are moving into a beautiful day. But there's some shaking going on. So get in alignment. There's a great assignment that's coming. I love you with the love of the Lord. I am Dr. Clarice Fluitt, your supernatural life coach. And I love you with the love of the Lord. And I look forward for you writing to us and telling us, oh, this is what God has done for me. Let's brag on Jesus together. God bless you until next time. And you stay in alignment for your assignment. Get ready because Dr. Clarice Fluid is dedicated to motivating and igniting you in your daily life to walk with Jesus. She wants to inspire you, mentor you, and equip you to live up to your best self no matter who you are. Visit ClariceFluid.org to find all the customized mentoring resources and coaching tools you'll ever need to be empowered in reaching all of your highest goals and dreams. These programs will change the way you see yourself, teach you how to be set free from all the hindrances that prevent you from finding victory, and transport you into the life God wants you to have. Don't wait. Visit ClariceFluit.org right now and open your portal into your new life. Get access to exciting mentoring and coaching programs, free online inspirational videos, webinars, and much more that Dr. Clarice has created just for you. Find it all at clarissefluid.org. Thank you for watching Wisdom for Success with Dr. Clarice Fluid, your supernatural life coach. Visit clarissefluid.org to find Dr. Clarice's many books and teachings or join her for a coaching and mentoring session and step into your best life. Follow Dr. Clarice on social media to keep up to date with her and to be inspired daily. And join Dr. Clarice next week for your wisdom for success.